if you're watching this video, it's because you saw the title and you want to know how to export an animation from Critter. So here's a sample video animation I made from Critter. It's 15 frames, or not even, it's very plain, but hey, it's, a, it's an animation and that's all that matters. So I wanted to export this as a movie. So you go up here to this menu and you select Render Animation. Terrific, and it gives you these options, the choice between image sequence. The image sequence means a bunch of individual files, or so each of the uh, 15 or so cells that are, that, are, that make up this animation, and it will give you 15 individual files, which isn't very useful. So you might choose the option video, right? But the thing is, it gives you this FFmpeg option, and it asks you to find it. Now, FFmpeg is an application um, that basically is separate to Critter, that combines the files together and gives you a, individual cells together and gives you a file. So if I press OK here, it'll say, no, no, you haven't found FFmpeg. So what do you do? You click on the link and you go off to another website. Now this application is a command line application application for Unix. So you need to know a bit about the terminal and you've got to install it on the machine and put it in your path and find it with this. And the weird thing about the Mac was, and I'm relatively new to Mac, is that it was very difficult to it's almost like there's a side for the Mac and a side for the Unix side of Mac, and the two don't cross over very well. And this application installs on the Unix side. Whatever, it's not easy, it's not user intuitive, so I found it a different way, which was I rendered it as, as an image sequence, and uh, um, let's put it here in this test animation example folder, uh, which is over here. You can see the folder's empty for now. There's 15 frames, and I'm just going to export it, right? So bang, there's my frames. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, files here, each one for the frames. And you can kind of see there it is in the top right, and then as it moves down, it, it it's, uh, gets down to the bottom left. But it's like, well, this isn't a movie, so that's not very good. But it's actually not very hard to change this. And so what you need to do simply is go into QuickTime, which I've got loaded here. And one of the menu options is open an image sequence. Desktop, videos, critter, animation example. All right, good. Then I choose my media. So there's my frames there. All right, so it throws up this window. Okay, and ask you details about how you want to do it. All right, and you, what it does, you want to encode it. H.264 is fine, but you can do it as an HEVC or a ProRes, apparently. But this is fine. H.264 is the most compatible. So if I do that, uh, there you go, it's rendered the file for me, and there it is, there's my animation, right? And now all you do is simply go File, Save, Krita Animation, oh, spell correctly, press Save, and it saved the file for me. And there it is up here in the window. So now I can simply double click on this and play it as its own file. And because it's a movie, I can import it into the video editor of my choice. All of this hasn't been very hard. You go into QuickTime, you open the folder that the images are in, you create your movie and you save it. No need for fancy Unix style commands or understanding how it works, non-intuitive stuff, just very straightforward. Or it programs already on your Mac. You can go ahead and do it. All right, hopefully that was useful to you. Bye.